All right, hello and welcome. I was looking for a video how to repair LED lights. Uh, everything I saw was in a different language, so I might as well do it in English. And uh, there's two different kinds of lights out there. LEDs can be in series, which these are, the Chinese versions, which are obviously cheaper. So if one color diode in the element burns out, then you lose the whole set around the entire area. So we've lost a color out of one of them. Now this is some of them I purchased off eBay and Alibaba and they're great until the color goes and then you lose that color completely. This one right now, I'm just running direct of DMX here. These are RGB, amber, white, and UV, all the color spectrum, which are really nice. So as you can see, this one works great. Red, green, blue. What is that? Red, green, blue. It looks red too. Oh, and see it's fucking up. So that's turning on red. I didn't even check this one yet. And amber together. Most of the time it's not the power supply or anything. We're doing stuff like that. It's got a it's got a break in between. Wow, I didn't even notice that was doing that one. And then we got amber by itself, so really we had red doing okay. G B orange is supposed to be amber. Or is that white? Oh, that was white and red mixed. Okay, that one's doing something totally different than the next one. I'm going to show you, geez. So when you buy cheap stuff, sometimes they work for a while, and then they don't. And then this has got ultraviolet. So red, green, blue, amber, white, and ultraviolet mixed into one. We'll work on this one in a minute here. I don't know what to do with this one. So we're just going to pull the plug. And what we're going to do, we've got no other video guy to help put that on the ground this one we're working on now we've tested the power supply off another one that has another problem there's nothing wrong with the power supply or the different power out to each led so we took the front panel off which is really easy it's just like what is it six screws seven screws and then you pull all the little knuckles off they all just lay in a nice little tray like this on this brand so you just pull it up and then there's another guard over top of that so, we've already labeled this one what's wrong. We had no red. So what we did is we don't even need to plug it in to test. We can verify this by, obviously it doesn't work. I'll just show you what it's doing. If it quits rolling, it's gonna roll. Quit rolling away on me. This might not be the best video, but I haven't seen one that shows all this stuff. Simple if they're series. Now if you buy really high-end LED, they're probably in parallel, which means one lamp burns out, they just keep running. So plug this, yeah. If you uh, buy these cheap ones, then it's series and you lose the whole color all the time. Okay, so this one here has no red working properly. Holy cow, stay put. Okay, so I'll show you. We have red. See, it's already just showing a little bit through each one. All these diodes here. You can just barely see red kind of coming on here. I'll show you one of them kind of working. That's because one of them has a break. So we can see right here, actually the main circuit is over here. And it looks like it positive is shared all the way through and down the middle, your trigger is negative actually to jump over. So it comes through, loops over to the negative side, jumps over to the next one and vice versa. So if one's burnt out, it can't go to the next one and then basically all of them don't work. So we've already marked them with red felt pen that we didn't see the color working through. So I'll just show you again here. Red is the only one that doesn't work on this one. We've got our green. We've got our blue. We've got our white. We've got our amber and our ultraviolet all the way through work. So the next step is pretty easy. A little bit tedious. Obviously pull the power on it and everything. I may have to put the camera down with this. Come on, let go. I'm hitting buttons on the back now. Okay. Whatever. Okay, you pull the power. The next thing you're going to have to get is only a couple of items here. Anything you want to mark the good LEDs and the bad LEDs. I want good green, bad, red felt paint pens. And then you need a power supply cutoff. So what I did is took like something that I don't need anymore. Like this is an LG power supply. It's about... 4.8 volts DC make sure it's DC not AC don't go up too high if they're like 
they're probably three volts up to 12 volts will still work if you start going into 24 i think this is 24 anyway in series but you could burn them out as you're testing them so we just took this 4.8 volt one and on the other end i just made it into two little cutoff tips so they're just chopped off the nugget that was on there so take something off that you don't have anymore everybody's got wall warts for something i've got this 4.8 volt one plug it in now there's diodes led diodes only have directional power they're even labeled on here so you can see plus and minus so i don't know if i can do this with the camera let's go to a good one we'll put a good one and a bad one beside each other that one tested good green that one tested bad red i've got some other ones that have other colors now i mean these are okay lights they went for at least two years before i lost red but also another batch of them buddy decided to try and run them in the rain and these are not waterproof water resistant sealed chambers there's a whole bunch of holes so do not run these out in rain or moisture or something like that they will destroy okay so if i take the green one here and i start touching over to the side here obviously i'm going to get ultraviolet works and if you just score these along you'll see each color working there's the amber came on and over white came on a little hard to do with the camera you got to do each individual one here to find the bad circuit. Blue. Come on, can I do it? Get the green to come on. Come on, it's really hard to do with the camera. Green came on. Next, I'll just do the up to the red. Because the red on this one worked. If I can touch it. Oh, cow's that ever hard to do. Should have the camera guy. I don't know if I can do this. You could probably make this better, like have a couple of long, small little thin tongs or a nail on there. Okay, there, I'm going to watch through the camera and do it. There's red. Okay, there we go. Good enough. Red works on this. Let's go over to a dead one. If I go along here, we've got our RV, UV, not RV. Our amber came on. You saw that anyway. Amber came on. Seems like it was dim. That's pretty good. I'm not touching it. Next is white. White came on. And we had our white still. There, I'm touching red. Here, I'll go from the other side. Blue works, and green, and the next one is red. I'm trying my best. Red's dead. There's a culprit. So I've marked that one as red diode coming through the circuit, which goes across to this one, to this one, is dead. So all red won't work. That doesn't mean that they're all garbage and you throw this thing out. No, you just want to pull this chip off and then replace it so I went all the way around checked them all over and I found obviously you can see two that have red dead and I have another light well we just tried that other one that had an issue but I don't know that one's probably got a different they're crossing uh, power and everything so what you want to do now I'm gonna have to make another video is order these which I found some on eBay and you can get like 15 of them for about 30 bucks or you can get them off of other sites and then you just want to desolder these and put the other chip laying in place of there so there you go I'll probably do another video if somebody watches this one and asks to see the second portion of how to solder that on there alright bye bye